Copays, coinsurance, HSAs, and deductibles. When thinking about your health plan, you need to make sure you understand your benefits, that you really know how everything works. To make it a little easier, let's walk through a quick story about John, his family, and their Qualified High Deductible Health Plan, or QHDHP. John also has a Health Savings Account, or HSA. An HSA is a bank account that you can put money into from your paycheck, before taxes, and use to pay for qualified medical expenses. HSAs are often paired with high deductible health plans, like John's QHDHP. John loves to play hockey. Unfortunately, John is not very good at playing hockey. Thankfully, John is a HAP member. Now, with John's QHDHP, he has to pay all medical costs for himself and his family until they meet their deductible. That's what's called an umbrella, or aggregate deductible. A deductible is the amount you need to pay for covered services before your health plan begins to pay for them. John's deductible, for his whole family, is $4,000, with each member contributing toward that amount until the deductible is met. So, when John goes to see the doctor about his knee following his hockey injury, he pays $200, the full cost of the visit. He also pays the full $100 for a prescription to help with his pain and swelling. When the doctor tells John he needs an MRI, John pays the full $1,500 for the service because his deductible has not yet been met. That's a total of $1,800 towards John's $4,000 family deductible. John's MRI shows he needed surgery. Fortunately, HAP has a large network of top specialists, so John can get the best knee surgeon around. And after the surgery, John's knee will feel better than ever. The total cost of John's surgery and hospital stay is $15,000. Because John still has $2,200 left before meeting his family deductible, he pays the first $2,200 of the bill. John's plan also has 20% coinsurance. Coinsurance is the percentage of charges for certain covered services that you pay after your deductible has been met. So that means John needs to pay an additional $2,560, or 20% of the remaining $12,800. And, just like with his other medical costs, John is able to pay that amount using the available funds in his HSA. Then, HAP pays the rest. Plus, since John's deductible has now been met, everyone in John's family is considered to have met the deductible. So John and his entire family only have to pay co-pays and co-insurance until reaching their out-of-pocket limit. A co-pay is the fixed amount you pay each time for a healthcare service, like doctor visits. And the out-of-pocket limit is the most you'll pay for the combined total of all co-pays, co-insurance, and deductibles in a benefit period, which is usually a calendar year. Once you meet your out-of-pocket limit, HAP pays all of the allowed amount for covered services for the benefit period. That means HAP would pay the full cost of all medical services for whatever comes next. We're okay. Make sure you get the most out of your health plan. To learn more about HAP plans, check out the Summary of Benefits and Coverage, or SBC, at choosehap.org. Simply click the plan name to view the SBC or just give us a call. All plans are different. Consult the Summary of Benefits and Coverage for full details.